21, a novel customizable injection protocol for treatment of the forehead with incobotulinum toxin A. It's well known that incobotulinum toxin A inco is an effective approved treatment for dynamic wrinkles of the upper face. Patients differ enormously in their facial anatomical patterns regarding structure and function. We can also observe variations in forehead anatomy, considering shape and size of the skull, both within and between ethnicities, genders, and age, variations in mass and muscle strength, and functional anatomy, like habitual use. It is important to have in mind that patients may present different expectations. Therefore, Treating all patients with the same injection pattern and the same doses can result in undesired outcomes. They have different needs. It's very important to perform a careful assessment and an individualized treatment to achieve optimal results. Bearing this in mind, the novel one-to-one -one injection technique, which allows individualized treatment, has been developed for the treatment of horizontal forehead lines using INCO with a customized approach and a predictable eyebrow shaping and positioning based on a unique structural and functional anatomy. This technique consists of a three-step protocol. A. Assessment, to identify the individual's unique forehead pattern. B. Bespoke, an evaluation to identify the individual's desired results and C. Customize it, dosing and injecting based on the anatomical pattern and strength of the muscles. The first step consists in identifying the perpendicular line across the mid-pupillary line. Then, add four vertical lines based on inner and outer cantus, and one more in the medial facial line. Moving forward to horizontal lines, the first one to be determined is the lowest horizontal front line, and it's called inferior limit line. Then the less upper line, just over the upper wrinkle. And one more in between these two lines, the intermediate line, drawn in green. Once we have 21 possible injection points identified, we must cater for the individual desires, analyzing carefully all these particular points. What about dosing? To help define the distribution of injection points and doses, we must touch, softly, in order to feel the presence or absence of the muscle in that particular area, as well as the strength of the muscle. Points with no muscle contraction are erased. Start the assessment in the intermediate and upper lines, places where higher doses are injected. Dosing is related to the force of the muscle and also to how much you want to block this particular segment. A scale of doses and colors was created, based on the strength of the muscle. Red for intense strengths inject to unit, blue for medium, one unit, and green for light, corresponding to half unit. To reshape the eyebrows, inject in the inferior limit line, on the mid pupillary line to flatten the brows, medially to the mid pupillary line to raise the eyebrows, and laterally to drop the tail of the eyebrows. In this line, always inject using small amounts of units. The one-to-one -one technique delivers natural results for the treatment of the upper face and is customized to each patient's needs. Eyebrows can be predictably shaped, minimizing the risk of undesired outcomes. The technique is associated with high levels of patient satisfactions while treating the forehead lines with neuromodulator injection.